People living in a downtown high-rise apartment complex in Savannah say they have been living without heat and without water. As the, thermos, as the thermometer continues to drop, the concerns there continue to rise. WSAV's Meg Porterfield live outside of the Rose on Sharon, a complex on East Taylor Street tonight. Meg, the management company just finished meeting with people there. That's right, Brett. This afternoon, management met with residents who have not had hot water since last Thursday and said that they hope to get it back on before Christmas. The residents we spoke with say the majority of the people who live at the Rose of Sharon have some sort of health condition or disability and cannot safely boil water on their own, and that this is not the first time something like this has happened, but that it is time that they speak up. Uh, we got this miserable day out here, and we have no heat, we have no hot water. If we want to wash our dishes, we boil water. If we want to take a bath in the sink, we boil water. We have circulation problems. We have uh, medication issues. You know, there's there's just all realm of of disabilities here in the building that the the cold alone can affect you. It's, it's just a sad situation for seniors to have to live like this. You know, we should, we, we're entitled to better. If we don't advocate for ourselves, we don't get nothing done. That's why we're here right now. Well, I just received a statement from a representative from Mercy Housing, which is the organization that owns this apartment complex, saying, in part, we have been working with the city, our maintenance staff, and a vendor to resolve the hot water issue as quickly as possible. A pump went out, and replacement parts are not locally available. Parts are being driven to Savannah so that repairs can be made. We will, of course, keep you updated on the situation on air and online as it develops. But for now, live in Savannah, Meg Porterfield, WS. SAV News 3 on your side.